not miss out on any future uploads from sis make sure you guys are actually subscribed and make sure you guys hit the bell and make sure you hit send me all notifications from this channel and then hit save enjoy the video what is up you awesome kissers day sis reacts you guys and welcome back to mugman reloaded so yeah guys uh we're gonna be fighting the baroness bon 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 uh world two bosses here we go guys all right so here we get straight into this so fighting off this boss battle we're gonna be met with these uh sugar sugary treats like candy corn. By the way, comment down below if you hate candy corn, because, like, I'm, I'm, I'm with you on that. Candy corn sucks, alright? So, yeah, just be sure you avoid candy corn in real life. Honestly, candy corn... Candy corn's horrible. Alright, so anyway, with this boss battle, she's gonna be throwing all these enemies at you. Basically, what you gotta do is do exactly what I'm doing and just get through their little... get through their little onslaught. So, yeah. Here we go. You got the next one? Oh yeah, the Pac-Man enemy. Why did I move this microphone closer to me? Ah! Crap. Oh crap, this is... Now oh, my microphone's in a better position. Okay. So yeah, after you fight off her minions... She's gonna come out herself. Now we really gotta be careful. Okay. Really gotta be careful. And keep trying to hit her. So what's gonna happen next is she's gonna get this head and it's gonna try to hurt you. Basically, stay away from the head. Don't want that head touching you. That head is probably the most toxic thing about this battle. So yeah, I don't even know if I'm doing any damage to her right now. So yeah. Oh, I got a knockout? I didn't even know that. Okay, I'll take that knockout. Dab. All right. Fuck man. Okay, I'm gonna stop doing that. All right. Baroness von Bonbon. Bon. Soul contract. We got her. All right. Let's talk to this guy real quick. Yeah, good timing, fellas. All right. So basically, when you talk to this guy in World, basically when you talk to that guy in World Two, he's gonna supply your plane with bombs. So next time I do a plane boss battle, uh, we'll be heading straight in there with bombs. Okay. So here we go. Now for this boss bat, this boss battle. Now for this level, don't shoot at all. I don't know why I keep on shooting. Don't shoot the balloons at all. Balloons will actually explode into a million other things if you shoot them. So yeah. Ain't I a good let's player, guys? <laughs> okay. So here we go. I think I'm gonna get the coins after the level. I mean after the video. So we could just continue without trying to be a completionist. So here we go. All right, shoot those things down. Okay, I'm good. All right, let's get up here. Oh, guys, that clutch! That clutch! The platforms came clutch. Oh crap. Okay. Those platforms came in clutch. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is bad. Okay. Oh my god. We almost just screwed up our whole gameplay right there. Okay. Okay, um, this is bad. Alright, good. Freaking fake Kami Koopa. Alright. Shoot this thing. Oh crap, my shots aren't going back to him. Alright, he's down. Okay. Jump. Jump. Keep going. Reach on over. Would have probably been better with the spread shot. Okay. Down, bug man. Okay. Okay, guys. Woo! Okay. My roundabout just actually kind of concealed that that shot from that huge thing at the end of the level. All right. Get our shots in. Get our shots in. Here we go, bravo! Did it, we did it. And we got all the coins in the level, when I, even though I said I was not gonna get them. All right. Uh, Wally Warbles, here we go. This is the bird. Now, pro tip for this boss battle. Hug the wall. Hug the side of the screen. I know you're not gonna see Mugman for like a good portion of this boss battle, but it's for a good reason, okay? So yeah. 
You're not gonna see mugs for a good portion of this boss battle. I'll let you know that right now. Because basically, at the beginning of this boss battle, hiding at the side of the screen is probably the most pro thing to do. So the extra uh, shell from the egg doesn't hit you. All right, now he's triggered. Now he's gonna start trying to hit Mugman with feathers. Oh God, don't really know how that hit me. Cheap shot, whatever. Got your little free shot in, Wally. Are you happy about that? Here, have a bomb! All right, back up! I don't really know why I took that risk. Okay. Uh oh, this is bad, this is bad. I'm losing motivation. I'm losing motivation. Yeah, I'm losing motivation to live in this game. Is that bad? Okay. All right, he's down. All right, now for the boy. Now to kill his son. Okay. Now his son is gonna shoot uh, at you with a laser because he's some type of evil genius. All you gotta do is parry that or avoid it by going small. And by the way, it's homing. Yeah, if that wasn't bad enough. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. And try not to get trapped inside of his eggshell shield thing. That would be really bad. I hate to see you guys die. Okay. Yes! We got him! Alright. Now for the final portion of this boss battle. Go ham with your... I'll take it, boy. That was two minutes. All right. So we took down Wally Warbles. I did not think we'd get out of that alive. Okay. So for this next one, we're going to go all the way over here. We're going to fight Grim Matchstick. I know. I know. I know. You might, it might be asking. Why are we already doing Grim Matchstick? Don't you have to do those, uh, don't you have to do Beppy and Pyramid Peril? Yeah, I know. But I'm taking down the hard ones in the beginning, if it wasn't obvious. Okay. So yeah, Grim Matchstick. If you don't know who Grim Matchstick is, he's the infamous dragon boss of this game. He's basically the Dark Souls of this game. So yeah, he's basically the Dark Souls of Head Cup. So yeah, just get straight in. Watch out for his tail, because it's going to start coming. He's already done. No, he's not. He is not done. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I didn't generate enough. All right. Whatever. Okay. Now watch out for his... Oh, crap! Watch out for his, uh... Conga line right here. Okay. Sometimes they'll go over you. Sometimes they'll go... Somewhere. All right, he's down! Oh crap! Okay. No! We got him! Oh my god, we got him. That took me a while. Jesus Christ, that dragon was hard, you don't even know. Dra he was harder than I thought. Yeah, one minute and 25 seconds, that's because I was switching between weapons while fighting him. So, contracts, it's, yeah, okay. So, uh, we're gonna do Funhouse Frazzle now. I know, I'm doing these levels so weird, aren't I? Alright. It's out! Alright, 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 we're gonna get down here. Alright, let's get under that. I chose the wrong weapons for this level, by the way. Alright. Get down. Okay. Dash. Yeah, I chose- I definitely chose the wrong weapons for this level. That's what you get for being too fast in Cuphead. Never go too fast in Cuphead, pro tip. 
Because you're going to be screwed over like me. Okay. But I have faith we can do it. All right. Dash through here. Watch out for these things because they're trying to kill you. I just jump around if you have the roundabout with you. So the little rockets can't get you. Because those little rockets are going to try to kill you like... He almost just killed me, but I had the roundabout, so I came back to hurt him. All right. Now, this next portion. Get down and stay down. Yeah, because that thing will try to in your face. So, yeah, you don't want that. All right. Okay. Okay, get down. Don't get down. Please get down! God! Freaking Mugman's really giving me a heart attack. Alright. Okay, I barely made that jump. Alright. Okay! Alright, we did it! Bravo! I'll get the coins later. Guys, we're speeding through world too. You don't even know. We got those two down. Let's touch the mausoleum and go get our super. Eh. All right. High class bop. And begin. I said and begin, but I uh. <laughs> that was the wrong quote. All right. Let's pair these guys. It's going to get extremely harder. So, uh, be ready for these ghosts to send some real good shivers down your spine. Because they're going to get faster and more irritating. Let's get him. Let's get him. Okay, now the spinning ghost right here is going to try to close in and try to get the vase. You don't want that. Sorry. Like I said, bad commentary. It's going to be horrible. If you ever play this game for your channel, just know you're going to have the worst commentary in the world if you're going to try to stay focused. I'm more of the reactions when it comes to this. Alright. Come on. Got you. Victory! Alright. I knew if I rooted around here, I could find something for you. So, what she found for us was the invincibility super art. That would have came in handy for Grim Matchstick, yeah, but I really relied on the energy beam because the energy beam takes a lot of damage. Alright! Jimmy the Great! We're gonna be fighting the Pyramid Peril boss. You guys ready? No. No, you're not. Alright, here we go. This will get red hot. There's a reason why I saved Beppy the Clown for the last one because this boss sucks as you can see this boss sucks look at how smug he looks you just want to bomb him right in his face all right oh why are these extra things from the chest coming up he okay now i think you could do additional damage to him by destroying every single one of his faces but I don't think that's true, so I'm gonna keep on going. All right, we made it. Welcome, boys, to the worst phase of this. Never mind. That should have damaged me. <laughs> that definitely should have damaged me. I don't understand why it didn't. Okay, I am not doing a single thing to this guy right now. That was it? His, that phase should have lasted longer. All right, so what he's gonna try to do now is he's gonna try, oh. He's gonna try and uh, hit you with his little turban, I guess that's what it's called. He's gonna try to hit, sorry for my ignorance. I, I'm really sorry for my ignorance. He's gonna try to hit you with his turban or whatever that thing is called. What you gotta do is stay vigilant and not die. So yeah. <laughs> All 
Alright, the last phase of this boss battle is gonna screw me over so bad. Just watch. Knock out! out! Alright! That was to Jimmy the Great! Alright. So, yeah. Okay, guys, that was to Jimmy the Great. Now, all we gotta do is take down Bebby the Cloud, and this video is over. Alright. Collect that soul contract with that A button. Alright, the last boss so waits. Beppy the Clown. Do all your battles and all my rhymes. Carlo Cafafo! Beppy the Clown! Alright, here we go! Okay! And begin! Alright! Just gotta lift my face cam up. Alright, and begin! And I gotta move OBS out of the way. And begin! Oh god! I'm the best Let's Player on YouTube. You better not forget that. Alright, basically, at the beginning of Beppy the Clown's boss battle, he's gonna try to hit you with a bumper car. What you gotta do is be very active and try to hit him and the ducks on top of the screen. Now, some ducks are gonna start coming out with, um, light bulbs. You wanna... You want to not be under that duck with the light bulb because it will uh, try to ignite you and kill you. So yeah, here we go, boys! All right, the spread would be the best thing ever for this for the second part of the boss battle. So uh, yeah, the spread will help you kill the balloons that try to aid Beppy in his quest to kill you. So yeah, you can parry one of the balloons. I would try to do a little jump shot too, so you can get in closer to Beppy with the spread and take him out that easily. So, uh, yeah. BOOM! I got the- Okay, so, uh, yeah. Next segment of this boss battle is gonna have Beppy, uh, try to hit you with this horse. Don't let him hit you with the horse. And staying in the middle would probably be your best bet. Okay. What the heck? I'm getting the parry, but it's not letting me, like, get higher. Okay. All right, whatever. Now for this last part of the boss battle, Beppy's gonna turn it to like this, this pole. Stay away from the pole. For this last segment, he's gonna try to kill you with these penguins that are going to annoyingly. Oh God, get out. Okay. Knock out! All right, we did it. <laughs> Don't worry about what just happened right there. I could not talk. Everything was going bad. All right, one minute and fifty-four seconds. All right, yeah, yeah, yep. And B. I wonder who came in my room. All right, my man. And now we are finished with World Two. Okay. Let's head to the die house and reach world three. So let's play is coming to an end really quick, guys. Looks like I might have underst Wow. Looks like I might have underestimated your cup face. You gave it to some depth, but good. Go on over to the next island. Lots of fun times waiting for you there. Alright. Dice. Here we go. My man's dice. My man's king dice. Little mugs have some fighting them. I'll say that much. They're making mince me out of them Depters. You see, I knew there was something special about those fellows. Well, don't be too sure just yet, boss. I think there's something fishy about those two. Don't blow your wig, Dice. If those two little finks try anything, I'll be waiting. Sorry, that was my favorite cutscene in the game. I I'm, I'm not even kidding at this. <laughs> I just love I just love how the devil just has a cigar. It's just amazing. Alright, welcome to World 3. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this episode of Cuphead Reloaded. If you guys want more Cuphead Reloaded, make sure you guys hit the like button, comment below, subscribe for what you today. And in the next episode, if you've been watching my videos on Cuphead and reaction videos, you'll know I hate this bee. So this will be something to uh, stay tuned for. Anyway, guys, peace.